Hey everyone, what's up? I just thought I'd shoot a quick video talking about um, the painting of the consoles that I do. A lot of you send me questions asking me stuff like, what kind of paints do you use? How do you take the systems apart? Blah, 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 blah. Um, some, of my, some of my videos show like walkthroughs, I guess, basically of the basic steps of what I did. I'm not going to do a video where I take a system all apart and show you step by step because there's so many systems and so many, you know, it would just, I couldn't do it. But I will show you some basics, some of the things I do, and I'll give you some of the information that will help you along your way if this is something you want to give a shot. Uh, first of all, I recommend only doing it to consoles that need it. I don't, I don't like taking a vintage console and doing something to it um, unless I'm completely refurbishing it. Um, when I do these completely different aesthetic mods like to the Super Nintendos, they're so discolored or scuffed up or crappy looking that I refuse to sell them in my store that way. So I do that to them to kind of give them a new appeal. But if I can refurb a system and make it look new again, I won't touch it with paint. So that's just my opinion. So um, if you have a crappy system, that's what I recommend painting. If you have a, a nice looking system, I say clean it up as best you can and keep it the way it is. That said, um, the main question I get, the most frequent question I get, is what kind of paint do you use? I, I use any paint I can get my hands on. It really doesn't matter. You can use spray paint, textured paint, auto paint, acrylic paint. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I think what matters more than anything is that you prepare the system for painting properly. And to do that, uh, I, I always recommend taking it completely apart. You take it all the way down to its, its base, the plastic. You take the electronic parts and you put them in a bag or a box, tie it up, close it so dust doesn't get on them or whatnot or overspray and you just keep those to the side. Um, overspray will ruin a system. So you definitely don't want to have it together and just paint it, you know, unless you tape it off really well, but then your, your final result just will not look as good as it will if you take the system apart and do it. Uh, you want to start off by, once you get a system broken down, and here's an example of, uh, this is the bottom piece of a GameCube, here's the lid. Uh, once you get it all apart, you want to take a really fine sandpaper like this one there you go and you just want to give it a fold and just go over the whole system scuff it up really well you want to use a fine sandpaper because if you use something with a thicker grain like this which I use for other things it'll leave a, uh, a scratch texture your, your system will come out feeling like brushed aluminum and if you're going for that that's fine but if you want a smooth paint job, you definitely don't want to do that. So you go over the whole system, you scuff it up really well, then you make sure you clean it off really well because you don't want any of the remaining dust on it when you primer it. So clean it off really well and then hit it with primer. Um, I recommend plastic primer. You can find it at Lowe's, it's in a spray can, it's easy to use and the results are really, really good. In this case, I ran out of plastic primer and I was using auto primer, which also works fine. So. That's a little something for you to know. Once you get it sanded down, primered, make sure you let it set up. Make sure you let it dry. Don't rush into it. And you can hit it with paint. Um, now in this case, and you can't really tell here, I, I ran into some problems because I painted and I was rushing and it was too cold. And it, it messed up the texture of the paint. If you paint the wrong temperature, or if it's too humid, it will change your results. If you if you don't want um, like funny textures, cracks, bubbles, make sure you paint during the right time of the year or in a, a warm area. If you have a garage uh, that's heated, you're you're set. And make sure it's not too humid too. If it's raining outside, if it's snowing outside, that can also have an effect. Believe it or not, that's what happened with this. I've used this paint a million times. And when I tried to do it in the winter time, and I tried to uh, compensate, it didn't work. So that's just a little something for you. Um, it probably won't show on the camera, unfortunately. But believe me, this does not look good, and I'm not going to sell it or offer it in a contest because that just it's below my standard. Once you get it all painted. Uh, just hit it with a clear coat. Make sure you clear coat whatever you use. And make sure you use the appropriate clear coat for the paint you used. Not all paints and clear coats just work together. So that's something to consider. The wrong kind of clear coat will um, just totally destroy your paint job. 
all that said, taking your systems apart. It's really actually very easy. Don't don't let it intimidate you if you take the top off a system and it looks like a lot. I remember the first time I started taking systems apart and I was kind of overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I could put it back together right. But once you do it a couple times, it's really pretty easy. Um, most old school systems use a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, old Xboxes and new Xboxes, the 360 use a, a star bit. And Nintendos are the ones that you really have to watch out for. They use um, what is basically normally called, I believe, the uh, Nintendo security tool. You can, uh, you can jump on uh, eBay and just do a search for that, Nintendo security tool, and these things will come up by the dozen. And you can get it shipped to your house for next to nothing. And then you just throw it on your screwdriver and you got it. You can take apart Super Nintendos, GameCubes, Nintendo 64s, whatever. So that's a must have if you want to do a Nintendo console. What else? Okay. When uh, you've seen some of my mods, like the Atari mod, where I actually grinded down the old slots where the switches came out and filled them and sanded them. Uh, what I used to do that is just wood filler. Again, you, you take it apart, you sand it down. In this case, I had to grind the lip off of those little slots. And I taped it off in the back. And I actually, there, there were deep slots. And I didn't want to do it full of wood filler because wood filler, if you, if you do it too thick, it'll crack. So what I did was I hot glued inside. And then when it was dry, I peeled the tape off the back. And I just did a... Uh, a small coat of wood filler on top. I then sanded it down with a rougher sandpaper, then went over it with the finer sandpaper till it was nice and smooth, and then I primered it, painted it, so on. I also did that with the, uh, the Super Mario Sunshine GameCube, and I'll throw videos up for all these too. Uh, that one required the wood filler because we took the jewel out, we filled it, we sanded it, that way we could use the whole top as a canvas instead of trying to paint it over the jewel, which would look stupid. So, and you know, all this is stuff you can pick up at Lowe's. It's cheap, it's easy, and it's really, it's nothing to be intimidated by. A lot of you write me like, oh, I'd rather just send you my system, and I don't want to be responsible for your systems, no offense, but uh, if I mess up a system like I did this one, it's no big deal to me, but if I mess up your system, I'd feel really bad. So, um, that's really all you need to know. Just uh, make sure you're... Uh, meticulous in what you do. You don't want to uh, rush it. You don't want to buy cheap paint and the wrong kind of paint. and You don't want to go without sanding. You don't want to just take it apart and hit it with uh, spray paint or tape it off and just hit it with spray paint. It'll look bad. Um, so good luck. Uh, I hope this is some information that helps some of you. And if you do uh, paint your own console, be sure to send me a video of it. I'd love to see your work. And that's it for now. So thanks for watching.